everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels, and welcome back to another episode on the Shared Experience SMP. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, the title I decided to settle on for calling this uh, the series. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with this episode. This episode is actually going to be three and four combined into one because there was some problems. Uh, I recorded episode three, did the entire thing. And right before I did episode three, I was doing a Windows upgrade. So like typical faction, uh, uh, fashion, Windows tends to mess up all of your settings when you do upgrades and things for audio and video. So I actually completed the entire episode, made a bunch of progress, and my video quality wasn't right, my sound quality was way off. Uh, basically, it's not really usable. So what I might end up doing is uh, turn it into a time lapse and just get rid of all the audio and condense like the 30 minutes down into uh, a, a couple of minutes for, for a clip. Um, and then there's like this weird overlay thing that was coming up too. I don't know what that was. So I, I'll probably crop that out or cover it up or something because it's, it's just distracting. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might do that, that time lapse of all of episode three um, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So let me get back up to the top here and I'm going to show you what we've worked on so far. And before we get any further, I'm actually going to stop here and just check my audio and everything and make sure that this time everything is working out well. And we'll just stop. This is a nice looking screen. We'll stop right here for a second. Okay, welcome back. Everything worked out fine with the uh, the recording. The test went all right. And if I decided to do the time lapse, I would have inserted it right there. So what are we going to do in today's uh, play? Um, play through, play, match, episode, episode. That's the word I'm looking for, episode. Uh, so what I want to do is try and finish this roof. So I need, I need some wood. And I don't think I want to use oak. I don't think I want to use birch. What I'd really like to use is spruce, and I don't know if there's a taiga around here. I, I haven't heard about there being one, um, so maybe we'll go on a little bit of an adventure and ride around in the ocean in our boat down there and see if we could find some spruce. So maybe we're not going to finish the roof today, but hopefully at the very least we'll find some uh, some spruce wood to do the roof, and I think that's going to look nice for uh, for finishing off this build. So let's go ahead and go back down. And who knows, maybe we'll find some runes that we can raid or, or, or something like that. Oh, and you may have noticed right here that my face uh, no longer has, has a beard on it. Let, let, let's do, do this right here. So there you go. Clean, shaven bow tie. Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit weird. I know. It's it's not forever. It's just for the time being. So, the clean shaven face. Why did it happen? I w was watching. Um, well, uh, who 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 was it? It was Doc uh, Doc M seventy seven, one of the hermits. He did a live stream yesterday, so that was Saturday. Today is a Sunday, November eighteenth, when I'm recording this. And so he did a live stream for twelve hours on November seventeenth. At least uh, it was November 17th where I am. I don't know if he started in a different time or day or, or, or whatever in his time zone because we're in, you know, different parts of the world. Um, 
but yeah, he did a 12 hour time stream, uh, time stream, uh, live stream for charity. And we do have a couple of things right here to check out. Uh, all right, let's, let's do a little dive and see if we can get anything good out of here. So in this live stream, um, people kept saying that he should, uh, uh shave off his beard for, uh, for, for charity as part of the whole thing. I gotta be quick about this because I don't have anything to uh, save my breath, so let's not get stuck. Uh, okay, that's nice. Let's just break the chest. If I... Oh, I'm gonna suffocate. Let's go, 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 go. I did not bring my door. I did not bring my door. There we go. Okay. Woo! Let's eat up some bread. So yeah, he... Um, people kept saying that he should get rid of his beard for, for charity. Just go back down here and see if there's anything. And he kept saying, no, 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 no. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. Um, all right, I'll, I'll take the carrots. The carrots are good. So eventually he, oh God, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck. I can't get through these holes. Oh, and there's a drown coming. All right. So as he's going through the day, he, he just completely destroyed his goal for what he wanted to do. Like his original goal, I think was like, oh, was that a potato? Or is that just a piece of gold? I guess that was a piece of gold. I thought it was a potato. That would have been nice. Um, yeah, so his goal was supposed to get like between five and ten thousand dollars. That's uh, what he was going for. And where did I just see that rune? Was it over here? Why don't I, why don't I see it now? Yeah, oh, there it is. And he easily hit it. He like killed it within the first two hours. I think he was at five thousand, and then the next two hours after that, he was at uh, four thousand. I open that. Come on. Ooh, treasure map. That's awesome. Let's grab this. We'll grab the wheat. Uh, sure, we'll try and grab that too. And um, let's get on to these blocks here. Okay. So he did great with that. He uh, at the five thousand mark, I think he put on makeup, and at the ten thousand mark, I think he put on a wig, and then he kept going um, after that. So he put on, I think, a dress at fifteen thousand dollars when he raised that and then they kept going and then at twenty thousand dollars i think he put on no he got his legs uh, legs waxed and at that point in the stream uh, I, I think things started slowing down a little bit what direction did we come from uh, we came from over there i guess so let's uh go this way so yeah it started slowing down a little bit and he eventually said okay yes i will at twenty five thousand dollars um, if we get there, get rid of the beard. So it was still going slow. So then other people that were on the stream started talking about how, okay, if they hit 25,000, they're going to shave their beard with, uh, with Doc and, you know, people that way that couldn't even, um, afford to donate anything at that time. They were also able to, uh, participate and share, uh, um, and support and the, uh, the experience of what was happening and what was going on. So as that, that continued... Um, that really kind of got people motivated to start, uh, uh, uh donating again. Ooh, oh, I, I don't have it in me to go and take on these things. I, I nearly drowned in the last one. I'll have to come back and explore these another day. Especially to, especially if one of them were to have a trident. No, I don't see one. Okay. If they, if they had a, a trident, maybe I'll consider trying it. So yeah. So eventually the, he did hit the, uh, the 25,000 mark. And I was one of the people that donated and said that if, um, if they hit it, that I would shave off my beard. So I shaved the beard off in, in real life and I thought it would only be fitting to have my face in game reflect that as well to uh, have the beard. And it's just so weird looking. It's really weird looking. Like I am more weirded out by how I look in game than I do in real life right now without my beard. Um, oh, we got some trees. I don't think, yeah, this looks like it's still just birch and oak. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that was really awesome. You know, he, he hit that mark, um, he hit 25,000, and then they got to like $30,000 in the stream, and they're like, okay, this is approaching like the biggest donation we've ever received. This is right now the second biggest, and they said the amount was, and people, you know, rushed and pushed to, uh, to get it to, I think it was like 32,000 or something like that. And, uh, uh, they got that with only like eight minutes left, and it became the, you know, the biggest donation, you know, that they ever re received. Uh, with like eight minutes left to go in the, the stream after he's been doing this for, for 12 hours straight. And uh, then like, <laughs> then at the last second, as he's like closing out the stream, he's like, thank you so much. Like he's all teary, he's crying. It's it's just like a beautiful moment. Um, 
trees. Now, at the last moment, someone just like drops another couple thousand dollars for a donation to uh, 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 support, you know, the, 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 the cure for cancer, you know, research. And they get uh, uh, over forty thousand dollars of that, or no, they hit forty thousand dollars exactly with that that last donator. Um, and all in all, after the uh, the end of the stream uh, and, and everything, and they finished donations, they were were over for forty thousand dollars, which just you know amazing. Here he was, this guy all by himself, just trying to get uh, you know somewhere between ten, you know, five to ten thousand dollars for for donations, and. I mean, he got all the way up to $40,000. Like, I literally have, like, goosebumps right now thinking about it and talking about this. Um, it was just such a cool experience to be able to, to be there and, and watch it. And I was just on stream. I'm at a computer watching this, and it was just this amazing thing that uh, that happened. Um, this is incredible. But, yeah, that, that's the whole reason why I, uh, I, I lost my beard in-game is, you know, because I said I was going to do it to support Doc, and... Uh, I'm, I'm a man of my word. I, I decided to keep it. So for at least a little bit, a um, couple of weeks, maybe a month or something like that, I'm not going to have a, uh, a beard anymore. Uh, and then eventually I'll uh, grow it back. So it'll just appear one day in uh, in game. I'm not sure how long I'll keep it like that for. Uh, let's see. This boat may be a safe one to, to raid. Let's go down here. And if there's a door... And we're in good shape. Yeah, see? I'm getting pretty good at these things. I know when there's going to be a door or something. Do I have any torches on me? I do. Let's put that in my offhand. And, oh, of course. Of course I turned this off. Because I don't like using this. But I'll, I'll use it for the uh, the sake of it. Ooh, and another, another treasure map. Uh, anything good that we can pick up in here? Uh, we can get rid of the zombie flesh. And anything else I want to get rid of? Um, I think we have a ton of oak saplings. I'm not going to be hurting you. Okay. And while we're down here, let's pick up this door, because the door's going to make it a lot easier if we want to go ahead and try and raid anything. And let's see. Is there another chest up top here? Yeah, yeah, that's right. See, I'm remembering how to do these things. I haven't done a lot of raiding until more more recently, where on the uh, Logical Geek Boy Patreon server, we just, uh, we just upgraded. So we can do that. Let's pick up this chest and get that. Oh, I hear a dolphin out there. So, but yeah, that, that was just one of the coolest experiences. And I've, I've, um, haven't been the happiest lately. I've had some, uh, some down days and some down times. Uh, that usually happens to me this time of year. The weather changes really do impact me. It can, uh, no bother me because I don't like cold weather. I don't like, uh, the dark days and, and things that come at this time of year, so it was really just such a nice experience and such a good day to sit down and be able to watch, you know, just, just that amazing thing happen to go from, you know, trying to hit, uh, uh, uh you know, $5,000, being concerned if he's going to be able to do that or even hit $10,000, and then just making over $40,000, like, oh, like I said, I still have chills, chills thinking and talking about that. All right, let's go on, on down here. This one that's worth rating. This is a big one. I just got to be careful because I don't know if there's going to be any any trident guys. That's the only thing I have to worry about when I'm down here. The tridents. I can hold my own against anything else, I think. But the tridents are, are what scare me. And the tridents are only scary as long as... Oh, God. There's... A... Why am I not hitting any of them? Okay, let's get back over here into this space because I'm going to lose out of oxygen. Yeah, the tridents are only scary when I have this this junky gear. When my gear is better, I have no problem taking them. There we go. Now I can hit these guys. He's dead. A couple more of these. Uh, let's put a door down. And there we go. Can I hit these guys from here? Just... So here's a little trick. If you can put a door down and you're not standing in water, sometimes they'll lose tracking. Oh, that's right. We have the heads. I can't pick up the head. All right, let's get down here and finish clearing out these guys. And I'll go up there and try to figure out how to get that head. 
maybe by doing some more torches. That could be a good way to free up some inventory. Does that work? Uh, I think... Yeah, that was almost per... Oh, that wasn't smart. That wasn't smart. Let's just get up to the top. And... I gotta rejuvenate some health. I don't want to use... Oh, God. Oh, God. I wasn't ready for that. I didn't realize he was right there. Oh, no! Um, where did he go? Where did he go? Alright, I gotta eat an apple. I didn't want to eat an apple, but I gotta eat one. Gotta get that health up. And at this point, if, like, a trident guy was to suddenly come out of nowhere and get me, that would be, uh, that would be game over. Right there. Alright. I know somewhere down there I got a door, and right over here I got the head. What do I not want? What can I get rid of? I don't want the gravel. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of the kelp. And did I get it? There we go. We got the head. That's cool. I think that's our first mob head on the on this uh, this this map. Cool. All right, we'll go back down. Let our health come back up a little bit more. So I got another drown in here. So yeah, sometimes if you're in an air pocket like that, the drown will uh, will stop tracking you, especially during the daytime. Uh, at night, they're a little bit better about tracking you when it's. Uh, when you're you're in an air pocket like this, but during the daytime, something with their AI stops them from tracking. That's what I was trying to say before before I panicked and then got killed. Okay, we got another uh, apple in there. Let's go in here. Check out this chest. Anything good in here? This is generating, so that means there's a treasure map. Go ahead and grab what we can here. Um, down another door before I suffocate. And drown, and let's go ahead and take this map. Uh, I didn't mean to generate it already, but there we go. So we got some treasure to go dig up and look for, which is going to be very good once we start doing Hearts of the Sea. And we can pick that up. Um, yeah, I gotta get rid of some stuff here. What else can I get rid of? Don't have too much stuff. All right, we'll put this back into our offhand, and we'll pick up the door. Should be able to grab that. And I want to get this. Uh, I'm just... Just don't have the space. Oh, I didn't even need to pick up these oak doors. I already had some, uh, some birch. Oh, well. There'll be more of this to grab, and I probably should have let my, uh... Let my air regen a little bit more. Let's get back to the boat. I know there's another chest down there in probably the other section of the building, but I, I uh... I don't have the inventory space. I gotta hold off on doing all this stuff because I just can't. I, I don't have the means to do it. So let's keep going and see if there's uh, any spruce wood that we can find, because that's really what I want. I want some spruce wood. Let's just eat. Go. That's a little trick. If you start eating before you start rowing, uh, you can eat and row at the same time. But if you're rowing, you can't eat. So uh, just make sure you're you're started the uh, eating before you're you're rowing and you're good to go. That's why I'll stop like that. Eat going. And this is a Big, 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 big desert. I was not expecting to run into this much desert. That's why I went this way. I thought it was going to be, you know, small. Because um, I know going the other way, I think there's a mesa. So that wasn't going to lead to getting any spruce trees. So I thought going this way would be to go. And this is going much, much longer than I thought it was going to be. I was really hoping to head out, get some spruce, and then head right back. But at this point, we might just be doing the entire episode on our way to get spruce. So while we're still going with this episode, let's talk about a couple of other things. Uh, so something that I realized while doing all my recordings and kind of going back and, and doing uh, the episodes and, and what's going on is that it's going to take me forever to get through this if I am only... Uh, um, playing when I record. Like, if I don't skip out on anything at all, like, I'm just not going to ever make any progress because I'll only be pay playing for a half hour at a time. And that, um, you know, that might not be the best thing. So I I've talked to a couple of people and they said, you know, don't, don't worry about recording all the way through. Just, you know, play at your, your own leisure. And when you have something interesting to record and you're going to be doing like a long, a session you can then you know record for that whole half hour or something like that so that's something else that I may consider doing uh, I'd, I'd really like your guys feedback on that if that's how I should progress uh, doing all this stuff if I should just you know play whenever I want and then 
if there's something worth recording, I can go ahead and record it with you guys. And here we go. We got a ocean monument. So let's take a screenshot of this with our cord so we know where to come back to to take that on. So yeah, let me know. Should I record everything and only, you know, uh, uh, play when I record with the exception of the grindy parts when I'm going for... I gone all the way around and wound up back like towards the beginning. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but oh, this is really cool. Shattered Plateau, I think is what they're called now. They used to be just the Savannah Plateau, but yeah, this is the Shattered Plateau. These things are really cool. Uh, my my first server that I put well, the first server that I'm considering be playing on, because there was one other one, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, I, I based in a Shattered Savannah Plateau, which is really cool. And I'm, I'm I, you know, I regret I didn't play through that all the way. I stopped partway through. I got to like around this time of year and it's, like I said, this is the time of year that things start bothering me and the weather changes and all that sort of stuff just, just really can impact me and make me lose motivation to do stuff. And that happened to me last year, but things are going much better this year and I don't think that's going to happen. Especially juggling three different series, maybe more at the same time. And sorry for the beeps, that's Discord going on in the background. Normally Discord gets muted when I'm recording, but I don't know why that didn't happen. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't intend to stop this year. It's, it's, I'm in a much better place and, uh, much more motivated to get this done and keep continuing with, uh, with things. I'm more active in the community. Really definitely helps. So yeah. Now, along with not recording every, every little thing that I do, like, let me know if that is something I should or shouldn't do. Uh, obviously, except for the, uh, the grindy bits. Um, the other thing I was thinking about doing was taking on a challenge of not crafting armor. So I've already crafted some armor. So, you know, there's not too much I can do about that. But with, like, shipwrecks uh, in the game and knowing that there's a spawner somewhere near that initial starting location. Hello, Dolphin. Um, you know, it's very possible to be able to get geared up without... Is this another ocean monument? No, oh, that's pretty close to the uh, the other one. Unless I went turned around somehow. Uh, it's very possible to get geared up without having to um, craft stuff up. Now, it won't be like the best gear in the world, but, you know, it's still it's still gear. I can still do it. So, that is something that uh, uh, I'm considering doing and just only using found gear. And then whenever I want to do diamond stuff, uh, I got to go to the end and find it there. Or I can start working with some villager training uh, and that's how I can get the diamond chest plates. Uh, now, enchanting and, and all that stuff, like, that's perfectly fine to do, um, and, and all that stuff like that would be completely within the rules. So let me know, is that something else that would be interesting to do to, to add a little challenge and something fun, uh, that I can attempt on here? You know, let, let me know about that. Uh, that's another thing I'm looking for opinions on. And, uh, more, more ruins. I just want to go down and explore, but it's, it's not, it's not the right time to do it. Not now, bow tie. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think, cause there was a couple of other things I covered in the last episode, because I wanted to make sure I tried to keep these things interesting, and, you know, like, I was building that roof, the frame of it, and, you know, it's just a lot of jumping and placing blocks and switching around and going back and forth, and I didn't think that was really interesting or, or, or entertaining to watch, so I, I didn't think that was a good experience. Ooh, here's a shipwreck right on the water. Or right on land. So this one I'm going to check out. I, I, how can I pass this one up? I got to check this one out. Um, and yeah, it just didn't seem entertaining to me. Like I got to the point where I was just like frustrated that I was recording because I, I knew it wasn't good content. You know, I want to put out stuff that is not going to be boring and, and you know, it's actually entertaining to, to watch. Uh, and I know not everything can be perfectly entertaining all the time. So, you know, that's something to think about and to consider. Oh, hello, chest. That was the perfect spot. Uh, oh, yes, we got potatoes. All right, so we got to figure out some stuff to dump off here. And let's go ahead. We'll put it in the sand. There's plenty of sand in that desert, so I'm not worried about keeping it. Grab up all this and that. Carrots, the potatoes. How are we going to put the potatoes in? Here? Um, hmm. What do I not want to take? I guess I can throw back some... Uh, this birch plank, whatever. Potatoes are more important. Okay, so we got that there. And I want to get through to this side and see if I can get anything over there. 
All right, so we'll just break that plank and hopefully dig through all this. So a lot of decisions to make. Uh, not sure. I'm, I'm really going to be looking for your feedback on how uh, I should progress on this. And, you know, I was thinking if I want to do like big, you know, long projects that are going to take a lot of time, then a good way to do that would be with with streams and things like that so like these short simple things that i'm doing like you know just out here raiding um, even though i was not intending to actually raid uh is is one way of doing things and ugh, i gotta get rid of more stuff here i want to get rid of this oak slab but i'm gonna do something else let's get up here and something that I've realized, if you were to look at this map now, um, I haven't looked at it, or if you were to take it out and put it in your inventory, it could generate and be something that already exists. But something that I've found that I feel works is if you break it before you uh, you look at it, um, you're more likely to get something that hasn't already generated. What did I pick up there? Was that the map? All right, I got the map, so that's, that's good. I'm not going to go ahead and look at it because I don't want it to... Uh, generate and I feel bad leaving all the sand behind but um I'm not gonna do it I got I gotta get it I, I it's like this weird like I don't even know if it's like OCD but it's just this weird thing about me that I have to uh I have to save blocks I can't let things go to waste so let's go ahead and get all this stuff too um so yeah so like those bigger projects I think might be better to try like streaming and doing that stuff with it and you know I've, I've i've done some streaming before that's way back before probably most of you people have ever watched me or heard about me here on youtube and it wasn't always the greatest what did i not want to uh all right i'm gonna grab the sand i'll take the sand with me and you know uh, that's still when i was pretty new and, and trying to figure out what was going on and how to do this whole youtube thing so uh, there may actually be more in here now that I think about it. Uh, no, no, it's missing that part. So yeah, streaming is something else that could be very well in my near future. And I've, I've been talking to other people about streaming, so that could be coming. Um, and that's how I would take on these bigger, bigger projects. Uh, rather than have to break them up into small, like, 30-minute episodes and just take forever to get things done, you know, just go on a stream and knock it out in, like, one or two streams or something like that. Uh, so that could be a fun thing to uh, attempt and do, and I feel like I'm getting really close back to, uh... I feel like something just zoomed past me, like I tried it, but I'm just, just going crazy, probably. Uh, I feel, yeah, I feel like I'm getting really close back to the... Uh, the, the, our, our starting point, um, or, uh, uh, that, I don't know what to call that area. I'll have to start, like, naming these things. What should I name the starting point? What, what should I call that, that area? Um, let me know in the comments down below, and if I see one that I like, I'll, I'll name it after your, your comment. I, that's something I'm terrible about, is, like, naming things and coming up with lore and stuff like that. So that's something that I really don't mind if you give me feedback and critique and, and, comment on like oh you should call it this or you should call it that or this is the story behind what you're doing so don't don't hesitate to give me ideas for that now my throat's actually getting a little bit dry here i didn't grab any water before recording i do have like some leftover pepsi that i've already finished but i got it from like a fountain drink so it's like all the melted ice is on the bottom so i'm gonna try that and see how that works. Uh. all right didn't taste that good Yep, definitely didn't taste good, but it helped out on the throat a little bit, because it's like got that, like, melted water mixture with, like, soda in there, too. And I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I, I don't like that taste, but I just really need something from it. I'm going to take another sip. Okay, and that's pretty much killed now, for the little slurping noise. Um, no, maybe we're not close to getting back to the beginning, because... I'm still just seeing more desert. Am I, I really hope I didn't like backtrack and get turned around. That very well may have happened. But no, if that was the case, we'd probably see the Savannah Plateau. Um, yeah. Okay, we got some big mountains over here now. Are these desert mountains or are they leading to something else? Sometimes, yeah, those are just desert hills or desert mountains or whatever you want to call them. I was hoping like it was extreme hills or something behind it because extreme hills is uh, one place that you can find the, the spruce trees and 
do a time check on here. We got a couple minutes left. We got about three minutes left. Oh, another boat to check out, but this is going to be dangerous with all the mobs nearby. But it's so, so above water. How could I not? How could I not? I got... It's too dangerous. I can't. I can't do it. I don't like not being dangerous. I have no problem going out and, and taking risks, but I don't know how far away from the beginning I am. I don't know if this thing actually loops all the way around. I just don't know any of this stuff, and I, I would take forever for me to get back here. Um, so I'll just have to do this trip another day and see if we can find it. So, yeah, so there's a few... Th oh, a village! Okay. All right. I'm going to try and stay away from the village, not because I don't want to go to it, but because it's nighttime and I don't want zombies to go in there and attack the villagers and uh, uh, destroy things and kill them all because having a village is very useful. So let's see. All right. I don't see the village here, but I know it's straightforward now. You know what? Maybe this is a good point to wrap up here because there's only about two minutes left on my, my timer. So I'll go ahead and stop that and let's wrap things up here. So what I'm looking for feedback on uh, is should I stick to doing everything recorded on video with the exception of the grindy stuff like strip mining or if I'm just mass resource collection for like trees and things or should I just play and then whenever I have something I want to record um, I can record and then just do periodic like status updates on things like that like is 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 that good is that going to be entertaining or is it better to just do it all on camera so you can be here with me every step of the way so let me know about that uh, and then let me know about the challenge for the armor should I keep it or should I throw it into the water right here I'll, I'll get rid of it right here and leave it and never pick this up again even though we've already wasted what that would be 12 iron um, and that way I'll only use it for for the tool so I can still craft tools and weapons and things like that but just just no no armor that's the only thing um, so let me know about that, if that's a challenge that I should do, and if there's any other challenges you think that would be cool to take on and to try here. So that means, like, I'd be fighting the Wither without good gear, uh, or the Dragon without good gear. Um, unless I were to beat the Dragon first, then fight on the Wither. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, let me know about those two things, and then I don't know what to call the starting area. I need a name for it, so... What, what should I what should I name it and you know right back behind here is a village that we're gonna go and take care of so that's where we're gonna start off in the next episode uh, is is checking out this village and then we'll review what you've told me in the comments if uh, if I should you know record everything if I should do the armor challenge uh, if there's any other challenges that I uh, should add into this so all right if you liked the episode please leave a like leave a comment and if you missed the beard let me know about that too. Um, maybe I won't keep it for too long then because this is really just freaking me out. Uh, but until next time, guys, this has been Bowtie. Wait, did I already say leave a comment, leave a like if you haven't subscribed? I don't remember if I said that. I said some of it, but I don't think I said all of it. But just in case, leave a like, leave a comment if you haven't already subscribed. Until next time, guys, this is Bowtie. Peace out. Yeah.